Good day, students. Um, on this clip, we're going to be deriving the uh, double angle identities from the sum identities, okay? So let's go ahead and write down the instruction for the derivation we're going to be doing. So, we're to, um, we're to uh, prove that, so prove, I'm sorry, prove the uh, double angle identities Uh, using uh, the sum identities, okay? So we're going to be assuming that uh, the sum identities are true and we're going to use them as a basis for constructing our double angle identities, all right? So um, part one, we're going to be proving the double angle identities for sign. So we're going to prove that um, sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta okay all right first of all let's start out by stating what the um some identities for sine is so for uh sine we know that sine alpha plus beta uh equals uh, equals um sine alpha cosine beta plus cosine alpha sine beta okay all right so what we're going to do now let's we're going to make a substitution let uh alpha be equal to theta and um beta be equal to theta also all right so we're going to make this substitution into this uh into the sum identities for sine and let's see what happens all right so sine alpha plus beta after making this substitution will become sine theta plus theta because we're replacing these two angles with thetas, okay? So uh, that's the impact on the left side. So what happens on the right side? It's gonna be sine theta cosine theta plus cosine theta sine theta, okay? So let's combine these two thetas here. So add them, we'll have sine two theta on the left side equals sine theta cosine theta just bringing down this two, this expression right here, plus. Now, uh, we're gonna use the uh, the commutative property of multiplication. We know that multiplication commutes. The order doesn't matter when you're multiplying, okay? Because we know that A times B is equal to B times A. So, uh, we know multiplication commutes just like addition. So using that property, I can reorder these two uh, trig functions and I can write them as sine theta cosine theta, okay? All right, now uh, what happens? Let's simplify this further since we have a match on the left side already. So that equals, uh, so this is, we have one sine theta cosine theta and another sine theta cosine theta. If I add both of them, I'm gonna have two of them, right? So it's gonna be two sine theta cosine theta, okay? Imagine that there is a one here and there's another one here. So if you add it, you just add the coefficients, right? So we have sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta. So that's exactly what we need. So this is the first uh, double angle identity, which is for sine, okay? All right, for cosine, uh, what are we going to prove? Part two of the derivation, we're gonna prove that, prove that um, cosine 2 theta equals one minus two sine squared theta, and that's equal to uh, cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta, and that uh, that's equal to one minus cosine squared theta. All right, so we're gonna be deriving three results. There are three uh, variations of double angle identities for cosine, so we have to uh, show that this is equal to all these other ones, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna start by proving this one. This one will be the one I'll prove first. And then I'll go from there to this. Wait a minute, there's a two here. Sorry about that. I'll go from there to this and then to that. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start the proof. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to um, the, in the first step will be very similar to the original proof that we did, part one for sine. So uh, what I'll do first is write down the 
<clears throat> identity write down the sum angle identities for uh, cosine. So cosine alpha plus beta. The sum identities for cosine is cosine alpha cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make the same substitution as I did before. Let alpha be equal to theta and beta be equal to theta. Okay. If I make that substitution, I'm going to have on the left side cosine alpha plus beta is going to become cosine theta plus theta, right? Because I'm replacing these two alpha and beta with theta, okay? How, how does that impact the right side? Well, it becomes cosine theta, cosine theta, minus sine theta, sine theta, okay? All right, combining these two thetas here, we'll have cosine two theta, because we're adding one theta plus one theta. And here, cosine times cosine is going to be cosine squared theta. And then here, sine times sine is going to be sine squared theta. Okay, guess what? We have achieved, we have been able to derive the first double angle identity for cosine. All right, so we've proven, we just show that oh, this middle one is correct. All right, now we need to shift our attention to this one right here, and then we'll go to the last one. All right, so what we're going to do here um, is let's, we're going to use the a variation of the Pythagorean identities for uh, sine and cosine. So we know that um, we know that since since uh, sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine Square theta, uh, we can. What can we do? We can substitute. We can substitute one minus cosine square theta. Let's call this. Why don't we call this equation one for easy reference? Okay, we can substitute one minus cosine square theta for sine square theta in equation one. Right. So where did I get this formula from? Well, remember your sum, your Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. If I isolate sine by subtracting cosine squared theta from both sides, I'll end up with sine squared theta equals one minus cosine squared theta, okay? So this is what I used to come up with this remark right here, that this statement is true, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna use that identity here. So let's make the substitution. So when I make this substitution, I'm going to substitute this into this equation right here, okay? So making the substitution in one, I'm gonna have cosine two theta equals uh, cosine squared theta minus parenthesis, let me put this in green so you can see what's happening, one minus cosine squared theta, okay? So what did I just do? What I just did is I just replaced sine squared theta with another identity, which is one minus cosine squared theta. Now what we're going to do is simply distribute this minus to this one into the cosine squared theta, right? So it's gonna, we're gonna have cosine two theta equals cosine squared theta minus one plus cosine squared theta. This cosine squared theta is a right term, so I can combine them. So I'm gonna end up with cosine two theta equals 2 cosine squared theta minus 1, okay? Now we have the second double angle identity for cosine. We have one more to prove, so we show that this is true. We just show that this is true. True. Now we, have, we just show that this is true also. Now let's be sure that this is true. All right, I'm going to use another variation of the double angle of the Pythagorean identities. Uh, I'm going to make the following statement since uh, cosine squared theta is equal to one minus sine squared theta. This is a variation of the Pythagorean identity. Uh, we can make a substitution. We can substitute one minus sine squared theta for uh, cosine squared theta in equation one, okay? So let's go back to equation one. See this equation one right here? I'm gonna replace this cosine with one minus sine square, okay? All right, let's go ahead and make that substitution. So uh, we're going to have 
cosine 2 theta equals, since they're cosine squared theta, I'm going to replace it with 1 minus sine squared theta. Let me put that in green so you can see 1 minus sine squared theta uh, minus sine squared theta. Okay. All right. So now we we'll simplify. We're going to have cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta minus sine squared theta. Okay, these two are identical, so I can combine it, and I have cosine 2 theta equals 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So there goes your third uh, variation of the double angle identities for cosine. All right, so we have all three. So we're done with uh, part two. Now let's move on to part three, which is uh, tan. Part three, I want to prove that. Prove that... Um, tan 2 theta is equal to 2 tan, tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta, okay? All right, uh, same procedure as before. Let's take the double uh, the sum identities for tan. Tan alpha plus beta equals tan alpha plus tan beta over 1 minus tan alpha tan beta, okay? All right, so now um, we're going to make a substitution, okay? Let alpha be equal to theta, just as we've been doing before, and beta be equal to theta also. So how does that impact the left side? Well, tan alpha plus beta is going to become tan theta plus theta, okay? How does that impact the right side? Well, we're going to have tan theta plus tan theta, just replacing alpha and beta with theta and theta, over... 1 minus tan theta, tan theta, okay? All right, on the left side, we combine these two thetas. We'll have tan 2 theta equals, and over here, if you add these two, you have 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan theta times tan theta is going to be tan squared theta, all right? So this is the double angle identity uh, for tan. So... There you have it. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. You can feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. Uh, if you like the video, you can click like. Please, please, please post a comment. Tell me what you think about this uh, clip. I really appreciate it. More videos can be found at mattoshow.com. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.